The one most likely to survive Squid Games, it's actually kind of a toss up. Me, Samantha Smart, everybody else, they don't know anything and we're the smart ones in the locker room. The Beast. I feel she's probably the only one that could take on any challenge, any obstacle course. She's your best candidate. I mean, what a stupid question. Of course it's me, Exodus. Definitely me. It's gonna be ice cold. I love playing games. I know a whole bunch and I do not like to lose. Obviously, I'm not gonna lose. Yo puedo sobrevivir a los juegos porque tengo la inteligencia y la fortaleza para salir triunfadora. I don't know what a squid game is, uh, but anything that requires survival, it's the heavy metal sisters. We will survive anything. Apocalypse, snowstorm, David McLean, you name it. Me. <laughs> I'm most likely to survive Squid Game. That's an easy one. Le'ia Makua. Me. Just because I can outsmart anyone, you know, I can take advantage. And I was raised on an island where I basically had to learn how to survive on my own. Me. I'll survive. Lori. Lori. Myself, Jesse Jones, because she could definitely survive anywhere, and uh, that's who I'd want to be with for sure. Y'all taught squids to play games? My partner, Holla Dead, because I feel like she's just crazy enough to turn on everyone and kill them. Or at least she's clever enough to survive whatever games that they have going on, so yeah, Holla Dead. I don't know, I've never seen Squid Games, but... My money would pro probably be on Crush because she never quits at anything she does. She's my best friend. That's easy, that's what it is, because we're strong. The Tonga Twins. They are my bodyguards, and I know that they can beat up anyone that gets on their way. Um, hello, me, Genesis, because I already have a team. So I would make it all the way through to the end with my team. And then, you know, I'll do what it takes to win. Well, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I think most likely to survive Squid Games would be myself because Foxy don't play. Of course me, because I'm sneaky and I'm fast and I'm small and you can barely catch me. So me, Tiki. It's not only about how strong or how fearful you are, it's about being a mastermind. So, me and my clients. Samantha's smart because you know, superior IQ and she doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> Squid Games? Is that like a football game? If it is, I'm totally there to cheer him on. Probably Reina Del Rey, because I know that girl's always packing something. Penelope Pink, and I'll tell you why. This girl is used to playing games all the time. All the time. I believe I will survive Squid Game because I'm a healthcare worker who works in trauma. I work well under pressure, and I enjoy children games. I think the most accident prone would have to be Chainsaw. She actually fell on a competitor once. I'm like super clumsy, so I'm gonna say me. Americana, just cause she's in her head a lot and uh, you gotta just go for it. Randy. Skip. Lindsay. Me. <laughs> I don't know. That's also a toss up. Steffi Slays, cause she's a klutz. And Jessie Jones, because she's an idiot. Chainsaw. I mean, she's wielding these crazy, wild things that, you know, she obviously has no control over because, you know, she can't think for herself because she needs her Angelica. <laughs> Miami, sweet heat. I mean, have you seen clumsier human beings? <laughs> I haven't. That's definitely Steffi Slays. I would say me again. I'm the most accident prone. <laughs> I think the most accident prone one here is Americana. When you're doing all those high flying moves, there is a big chance to get hurt, so. Sorry. I will skip that question personally because I like to speak positivity into the world. Bruh, you don't even know. Like, we used to have a chick named Veronica Benaducci, Vanello, Marshmallow, and actually she was the most accident prone one. This is how accident prone she was. She's not even on the show now. <laughs> most accident prone would be Americana. She's also my best friend, but she's silly sometimes and does a lot of crazy flipping. So I love her to death, but you know, that's my girl, but yeah, Americana. Maybe Chainsaw? I mean, I know she likes it, but it looks like she cut herself once or twice. The Carlson twins, Lindsay and Lori. Gigi Gianni, because all she does is waste her time looking at brand stuff instead of dealing with real life stuff. Uh, Tiki. <laughs> oh, she's all wrong. <gasps> I hope they don't hate me. 
There's a lot of them, but I would say the most is probably Kita Rush because she should know what happens to her when she messes with exile. Accidents happen. Coach, she's too busy blowing that whistle. Sweet. The Carlson twins. The Carlson twins. Sweet. Because they're cringy. cringy. They trip over everything. Right. Being cringy. <laughs> I don't know, let me see, there is so many, like so many, I will say most of the girls seem well. I cannot just even say one, all of them, except my clients, of course. Everyone seems to be pretty on top of their game. I don't think we have an accident prone person here. Maybe me, because I do a lot of high flying stuff. The person most likely to skip leg day from WOW Women of Wrestling. Well, actually no one would because we're all superheroes and superheroes don't skip leg day. But I will tell you right now, I can out squat every single person in that locker room. I want to say Kona, the Tongan twins. Is it Kona? Mm, Kona. Ice cold skip legs day <laughs> because if I lived in the snow, I wouldn't want to get out of my bed. <laughs> I would say the wrestler that is most likely to skip leg day is Chainsaw, because she's really reliant on her size and she ain't going to the gym. Not to squat nobody. Me, because <laughs> sometimes you just don't feel like it. I could pump arms all day, but stairs, squats, I, I'm sleeping. No shade to the girl, but Coach Campanelli. You know, I think she thinks she has it all figured out and she doesn't put in the reps. Leg day? Oh no, Coach is telling me you can never skip the leg day. Tip number 17, no pain, no gain. Most likely to skip leg day. I think Chantilly Cella, because I hate her kicks, so she needs to skip them. <laughs> me. Then they look pink. BK, because she's always in the studio. Oh yeah, right. The Beast. Oh, Sophia Lopez, because she's always busy. So maybe she doesn't skip leg day because she's always running around. We're superheroes. There is no yeah. skipping leg day. No one can skip leg day. You can't be picking people up and slamming them down if you're skipping leg day. You gotta hit leg day. <laughs> leg day? Who in the world? Oh, you know who would skip leg day? Americana's little twig self. You seen those tiny little legs? <laughs> I don't think she works out at all. I'll say Samantha Smart. She might spend all of her time at the library. So Samantha Smart. I don't think anybody would skip leg day here. Everyone's bodybuilders, uh, gymnasts, athletes. Well, we have pretty strong legs. I don't know, call all these little chicken leg girls. Probably Samantha Smart. She's too busy scowling at her ruler. Most likely to skip leg day? None of us. None of us skip leg day. You can't be a wrestler if you don't have legs underneath you to pick people up, move around the ring. Yeah, we don't skip leg day. Lana Starr, for sure. She's never had to work a day in her life. Why would she want to go to the gym for leg day? Why would she want to go to the gym at all? She purchases everything she has anyway, so. Uh, everybody here got some has some pretty stocky legs. <laughs> so if someone was gonna skip leg day, I'm gonna say it's probably voodoo because she can just do some voodoo and just make her legs get bigger. If that's how it works. I don't know though. I would say it's that little island girl Tiki Chamorro because yeah, I know she's athletic, she plays rugby, but she rests too much and drinks too many coconuts and eats too many pineapples. So I think that island life makes you lazy and it makes you complacent. So she's probably gonna skip leg day once or twice. 